What is that? <laughs> Psycho Bunny shirt? Yeah, they, they should give me free shirts now. No, I... You know what's funny is uh, uh, I was Jane Krakowski's husband. We were at a function, and he makes he runs this company called Psycho Bunny. And they only made ties at that point, and then I saw the shirt in like a local store now. So I was like, "That's awesome!" So I bought it. <laughs> you don't need to send me anything free. It's fine. I I will buy it. I'm happily to purchase it. I'm surprised you're not a model. To begin with, I'm I mean, not sure how I feel about that comment. Well, no, no, no. You know, Liv, Liv, <laughs> Liv's got this whole G star thing. You could well, do it. Well, uh, yeah, certainly. She can make her whole year in about a weekend. I'm sure. <laughs> She's very pretty. Have you ever thought to do that sort of thing? model? No, nothing against it. I just don't. Uh, yeah. Or to do do like be a spokesperson for for a product or anything. Maybe. I think it's different with men. I think, um, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I've, I'll do like the odd campaign. I'll sort of sneak in. I did a Tiffany campaign last year, very sort of secretive and, you know, wasn't doing commercials for it. But yeah, I've been nothing really against it. I've just, I've never really found something that I, either that wanted me that I enjoyed or the ones that wanted me, I wasn't like, eh, that's not really me. So let's talk yeah. about this movie. There's this one scene, Patrick, where I'm sure you can empathize because you were on the other end in Hard Candy. Yes. Being tied up and the whole thing. Yes. So did you talk, did you give Liv any sort of heads up? No, yeah. No. Um, no, by that point in the movie, we were, uh, we were, we were racing for the finish there. So, uh, yeah, no, she, she doesn't need any guidance on, uh, on how to play that stuff. She, that was, uh. Yeah, that, those are difficult scenes, and I think, truthfully, when you're dealing with that kind of emotional stress, the last that when you're on the other end of it, you know, you 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 want to observe the distance because you don't really know. It's part of the fun, I think, of acting is the mystery of whatever the other person is going through, whatever their process is. So the last thing you want to do is be like, "Hey, so if you want, you know, <clears throat> you know, uh, why well, she's getting in her zone." But did you feel badly like you wanted to loosen? The ropes a little bit that we're tying her. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. <laughs> what? Keep her. Keep her painful. That's yeah, fine. She'll get over it. It's, you know, little rug burn never hurt nobody. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um, how, how, how do you feel about religious fanaticism? Have you ever had like somebody ring your bell and try to like get you into Mormonism and that kind of thing? <laughs> Um, no, I laugh because I just saw Book of Mormon, so the whole opening number of Ringing the Bell is very funny. Um, no, nothing uh, offensive, I guess. I mean, I've had the Jehovah's Witnesses and those types. Um, those types, I don't even know what that means. I guess door ringers, you know. Um, but uh, doorbell ringers, but uh, no, I, I've, never, I've never personally been approached by somebody that, that ha hasn't had the, uh, you know, the respect when they to stay the distance when you see they're clearly not you know you're not in the same <laughs> state of view as they are do you believe in the afterlife like your character <laughs> did and and that sort of thing as i'm about i'm about to do a tv show where my my ex-wife comes back from the uh, dead or so we think so um load of question i don't know i i i mean i believe in faith certainly um, I, 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 I'm, I would probably say I'm more spiritual guy than a religious guy now, but I think that's what interested me about the movie is you, you have all these, you know, uh, different viewpoints of faith, and yet um, I think ultimately everybody wants something. I think there's, it gives you a little hope, a little trust. Um, um, and then I guess some people are devout atheists, and that's fine too. I, 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 don't, I don't believe in that. I, I mean, I don't. That's not me, um, but I think like any you know any movie that deals with these sort of themes, we're, what we try to do with this is there's no there's no judgment on any of that. I think even in my case, in my very extremist point of view, um, you're not it's not hammered home to the point of turning everybody off. And even though he's a very you know violent character and he's the bad guy in the movie, I think every one of these viewpoints is a kernel of truth and faith and it's your own perception of it that um, makes it go askew not unlike the looking at the Bible which is what this my character does going back to the Old Testament to get his way of dealing with things which um, is 
what we would assume is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you mentioned uh, your TV series. It's so interesting that you're doing a TV series because you're a movie star. <laughs> what do you need to do a TV series? <laughs> well, I, it's not about needing to do it, I guess. I mean, I, I, it's um, uh, a number of reasons. I mean, you go where the great roles are. Um, you know, it's a different dynamic, I guess, in Hollywood than it probably was a few years ago. And I don't want to be a guy that just goes from random movie to random movie and I love doing my independent movies and films but you know certainly uh, the older that you get and my kids are starting school and the more stability you want that plays a large role in it I just I don't want to I didn't want to get to a uh, a point where you're just banking on certain types of movies or like you know I, I I like to choose what I do pretty carefully as much as the system will allow me and for me I've been hearing for years, my friends that have done TV and writers and stuff, all oh, the best writings in TV, all oh, the best this and that, you know. And there's a lot of truth. I mean, the scale of movies and studios has gone down drastically over the past few years, and they pump all their... This is all, of course, dealing in stereotypes, but you're, you have fewer movies, more actors, and fewer chances that they take, I think, on giving... You know, the same probably four or five guys get the lead roles in movies now. So, uh, you know, and I'm, uh, that's not me right now. So that's fine but uh, I'm, I'm just being very blunt about it. Uh, Bradley Cooper's a good friend of mine and we were talking the other night about it and he said you know we're just we're in it for a long haul. It's a marathon and it's really true you know you, you watch everybody's careers go in and out up and down and um, and you just have to do the best work that you can and see where that takes you you know and for me I with Jonathan Demi directed the pilot and Susanna Grant wrote it and you have all these people that were all going I've never done TV before. This will be exciting. And then you start to go, wow, I can create this character, see where he goes. That's a new, that's a, a new avenue for me. Explore this, this life of this character, build a whole character, and, and do what we want creatively. And that's something that you can't, you're not really afforded to do in movies. So for me, just acting-wise, it's a whole new adventure. And obviously, you are the gifted man. For now. <laughs> Until reruns, then I'll be the re-gifted man. On that note. <laughs>